everyone, I'm Dr. Laura Bellis, naturopathic doctor, and here today with a video for you guys about three ways that you might be aging your skin faster than you would hope and what you can do about it. So I see a lot of skincare concerns in my practice. A lot of women come in uh, with acne, rosacea, um, just fastly aging skin or skin that they just don't feel is themselves. They just don't have that nice glow that they once had. And definitely good skin is built from the inside out. So let me first start by saying that. And the three tips I wanna give you today are things that you might wanna consider that you are doing or doing more often than you'd like. And these could be uh, really important steps at getting you that skin, that glow uh, that you really are craving. <clears throat> so number one is unfortunately under hydrating. And this is not gonna be a talk about eat, drinking too much water or more water than you should be. This is actually gonna be about thinking not only about the water you're taking in, but are you actually dehydrating yourself with alcohol and caffeine? So these are diuretics and they can actually just allow you to, unfortunately, urinate all the extra fluid out more than we would think. So <clears throat> I always recommend that everyone gets their minimum fluid intake per day. And that's simply done by getting your total body weight in pounds and divide that by two. That's the total number of ounces that you need of fluid per day. So for example, someone that is 160 pounds, half of that would be 80, so 80 ounces or 10 eight ounce glasses of water per day. Ideally fluid that's non-caffeinated and non-alcoholic. But if you're drinking alcohol and caffeine beyond one cup or glass per day, you wanna add an extra cup of fluid to your total required intake. That's because those dehydrating uh, beverages really start to just urinate your um, fluid out and not only your fluid, but your salts and your minerals and your electrolytes that keep water in your skin cells. So really, really important. It's not just the fluid, but it's those dehydrating fluids that you might be consuming like caffeine and alcohol that might be sneaking up and lowering your overall fluid intake. The second aspect is a low antioxidant diet. Now, I can't tell you enough about how often I talk to my patients about the importance of vitamins and minerals for their skin, and a lot of people know about vitamin C for the skin, but a lot of other antioxidants, just like vitamin C, exist in plants and fruits and all of the wonderful things that we can consume. So I always tell people, eat your antioxidants as much as possible. If you are on a low carb or keto, paleo-ish diet, you want to get most of those antioxidants from vegetables and spices and herbs, which are super packed, but you really want to focus on getting those antioxidants up. The reason for that is antioxidants will actually keep collagen production going on in your skin and prevent that uh, breakdown that can occur and that's when we get those fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> so keeping the antioxidant content up will keep your skin plump and hopefully wrinkle free or slow down the wrinkling process and it will definitely keep your skin tone even and give you that glow. So this is also important if you have any of those hyperpigmentation problems, uh, either acne scars, melasma or anything else from previous UV damage that you want to even out, getting that antioxidant content up in your diet is going to be key. So the last thing that you might be doing that's aging your skin faster is over cleansing. Yes, over cleansing. I get so many people talking to me about what cl cleansers they're using, what moisturizers they're using. You have to actually do the process correctly and you wanna avoid using the harsh cleansers because that's gonna strip the oil off your skin, which protects, which hydrates, which keeps all those amazing moisturizers in your skin and on your skin. And the, the, the fact of the matter is too many women are stripping their skin, especially if they have acne or they're afraid of clogged pores and they are not replenishing enough on the surface. So it's really Really important to not only have a good cleanser and moisturizer but you want to be using ideally a soap free cleanser or a cleanser that's really not harsh and it's pH balanced. So there you have it my three tips for ideally avoiding so you can get your best skin ever. If you want my freebie this video I am giving you guys my five mistakes to avoid to keep your skin clear and glowing and you can just download that freebie right away inside the description below this video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and here's to glowing gorgeous skin.